music, bowls of holy, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, la 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 la. Don't we know our gay apparel, la 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 la. Troll the ancient yuletide carol, la 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 la. Well, since I talked about the original Frosty Snowman, it's only fair to talk about the original Rudolph from 1944. This was the last cartoon ever to be produced by Max Fleischer, who produced Popeye and Betty Boop from 1910 to 1940. This cartoon hit the big screen in 1944. Fleischer produced this version for the Jam Handy organization. It was reissued in 1951 with the song added in the beginning. Unlike other versions, it has not fallen into copyright, so it's still available on VHS and DVD. Of course, everybody knows the story of Rudolph. It's about Rudolph, the only red-nosed reindeer, who gets picked on by the other reindeer because of being so different. Then on one foggy Christmas Eve, he helps Santa Claus out deliver the presents to all the good boys and girls. Did you know that Rudolph was actually an attempt to promote a chain of department stores? It was in 1939 when a man named Montgomery Ward was selling coloring books on Christmas Eve, and he was looking for a good promotional character. That's when Rudolph was born. He drew inspiration from his childhood, being a puny kid and always getting picked on. And the story was a success. They sold 2.4 million copies that day. And it wasn't until 1949 when Johnny Marks wrote the hit song that would put Rudolph into the mainstream and get it stuck in our heads forever. As they shout it out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in here.